In this movie, we'll explain a bit more about creating and editing CityCAD models. If you draw a route, a node is created at each end of the route. If you draw a route across the first one, then a node is created at the junction. If you try to delete a node, then the route will be deleted as well. This is the Delete Elements window, which lists everything that is about to be deleted. Click OK to proceed, and the elements will be deleted. Remember, you can Shift-click to select multiple elements, and also type Shift-Delete to delete elements immediately without showing the Delete Elements window. If you enclose an area on the ground with roots, then a CityCAD block will be created. If we try to delete one of the roots around it, then the block itself will be deleted. So blocks need to have roots surrounding them in order to exist. Here we'll click Cancel. If we draw a route around the block, it will be subdivided into two blocks and new nodes will be created where the new route crosses the existing ones. In this example, we'll change one of the blocks to an open space block. If we try to delete a route which separates two blocks, then the two blocks will be merged. You can choose one of the original blocks and the properties of that block will be applied to the newly merged block. In this example, we'll select the Open Space block and press OK, and the two blocks will be merged into an Open Space block. Finally, if we delete one of the routes here, you can see that a node is left over on this route. If you try to delete it, you will delete the adjacent block and routes. So the easiest way to get rid of it is to select the Modify tool and drag it onto the nearby node. For more information about working with CityCAD blocks, please see the help files. You can access these from within CityCAD by pressing F1 at any time.